Hello, today I'm going to show you how to track progress for tasks and for tasks and uh, uh, one bug which is now present in Microsoft Project for the web. Uh, first of all, I created for this uh, presentation two tasks. One task belonged to John and John is assigned to this task, and another task is assigned to John and Mary. Both tasks has four-day duration, and uh, uh, I modified this grid to, uh, with putting start, finish, effort, effort completing, effort remaining, and percentage of complete, just to make the whole thing easy. First of all, if you want to track this effort, effort completed, effort remaining, or percentage completed, you don't have to modify your grid as I, I did with adding uh, columns, but you can go here in task details and you will see the same fields here. So here is percentage complete, here is completed, effort completed, effort remaining, and total effort. But I just want to avoid opening uh, uh, task details each and every time when, I, uh, when I'm going to show you what I want to show you. And that's how to tra uh, track the task. First of all, let's say both tasks are for the duration. And uh, you can see since John's, uh, John is working eight hours per day, according to his calendar, and uh, calendar settings are far beyond this, uh, this presentation, and it, it will be in uh, included in one of the, my uh, uh, presentation in future, but for now, uh, just remember that John and Mary are supposed to work eight hours per day according to their calendars. So, for uh, I assign John, which has uh, uh, to the task which has four days duration and four days multiplied by eight hours per day for John result in 32 hours of total effort. Since on task uh, which is assigned to John Mary has also four days duration, the total effort is four, uh, uh, 46 hours. Why? Because John is going to work four days, eight hours per day, which means 32 hours, and Mary is going to work four days, eight hours per day, which uh, is another 32 hours, and uh, both of them uh, together are going to spend, should set, spend 46 hours uh, per task. Now, let's go to uh, uh, and see how can uh, I uh, track the progress. Let's say John says, I'm finished 50%. What will happen? Since effort was 32 hours, 50% of 32 hours is 16 hours. So 16 hours is effort completed and remaining effort remaining is effort minus effort completed. So total effort minus total uh, minus effort completed result in effort remaining. So let's say that John said, okay, I didn't work 50%. I just finished 25%. 25% of, uh, uh, for, sorry, sorry, I had to revert it back. So 25% uh, 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 of 32 hours is 8 hours. So John spent 8 hours to the task, 32 uh, for, uh, two hours uh, is total effort, and effort remaining is 24 hours. Let's do it on Second task, second, if I put 25%, 25% is uh, from six, uh, 64 hours is 16 hours, and effort remaining is 64 minus 16, which is 48 hours. And that's a very easy way to track uh, a progress of a task. But very often, always to me, it is not good enough. Why? I, I, so in my uh, in my history that some project managers will tell, okay, John, how uh, uh, how are you going with task? Let's say uh, your task, this task, and he will say, I am done thirty seven percent. What does it mean that he completed what eleven point eighty eighty four hours, and that uh, to finish that task he need. 20.16 hours, it doesn't make a sense at all. So, what I use very often is effort completed and effort remaining. And for that, uh, for that purpose, 
uh, I can get the exact result which I want. So uh, I'm going to show that to you right away. Now, let's say, John, I ask John, John, how far are you with your task? And he can tell me, okay, I finished eight hours. I completed eight hours. Great. I will have 25%. And I ask John and Mary, uh, how many hours did you spend on uh, your task? And they can tell, okay, 16 hours. I will have 25% calculated. Why? Again, eight hours divided, uh, eight hours is uh, 25% of 32 hours, and 16 hours is 25% of 64 hours. But now, let's say th that is regular case. Let's say that I ask John, would you be so kind and tell me uh, what, what is going on with your task? And he says, I spent eight hours on the task, but I need 32 hours more. Okay? So he's already spent eight hours, but he needs 32 hours more. And if I put here the 32 hours, I will jump into the bug. Why? Because as you can see, eight hours is a, a completed effort, but now total effort is eight hours, which is already spent by John, and 32 hours, which uh, John needs to fulfill his task. So 32 plus eight is 40, but eight is not. 25% of 40, okay? So this is bug. Let's say, let's undo it. And let's say that John says, okay, I spent, let's say, 24 hours and I need 16 hours more. Once again, percentage of completeness is not right, but I will show you one mysterious bug as well. Let's say that John says, after a while, Nenad, the situation was changed. I'm done. I didn't, I didn't need 16 hours. I was working for uh, two, uh, 24 hours for that task, and I don't need any task more. And I will hit here zero. What will happen? Since John doesn't need any task, any hour more to fulfill his task, he's done. So effort completed is the total effort. But you can see here, percentage of completeness is still 75%. At the moment when you are going to watch this video, Please check out with, my, uh, with project because I reported that back to Microsoft and maybe they uh, corrected it. But at, at the time when I was recording, when I am recording this video, which is 29th of July, this bug still persists. So what can you do in a case, let's go back, when you have this situation? Let's say that you have eight hours finished or 16 hours finished but you need 32 hours more you are you are not going to put 16 hours here but 32 and 32 hours to effort remaining but you are going to do this uh, some opposite you are going to uh, 16 plus 32 okay is 40 Eight. So instead of putting 16 and 32, first of all, I'm going to change effort to 48 and then effort completing to 16, and I will have 33%. Uh, 16 divided by 48 is exact 32 hours. So if I will not need these 16 hours, I can go here and I will put 16 hours in effort. So I will have zero hours effort remaining, but this bug still persists. So 
be aware that in some cases you will jump to the, to uh, to those bugs. What can you do in that case? No, nothing else but put here hundred percent, and that that's it. Okay. So there are two ways of tracking. I will do it now. Where there are two ways of uh, uh, tracking uh, 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 task progress. First is to put percentage of completeness. Let's say seventy five percent. That's it. And second one is to put effort completed. And if you will have effort remaining, so let's say here eight hours, which is more than calculated or less than calculated, your percentage of completeness will not be correct. So in that case, you can do like, for example, if I need 16 hours, uh, uh, if uh, my effort remaining is 16 hours, I'm not going to change here, but I will say 8 plus 16, okay, is 24. I will put here 24, and I will have 16 hours remaining, and I will get a correct percentage of completeness. So be aware of this bug, but anyway, when you are going to watch this video, check it if it still persists. That's, it. That's all for me for today. Thank you very much and have a nice day.